Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. So glad you could attend. Come inside, movie maniacs. And yeah, we went old school with the background. Hope you like it. I kind of do. I was missing it for a while. And also, I just want to announce that I am now part of WeLiveFilm.com. Yes, I have been welcomed into the WeLiveFilm.com group of movie uh, reviewers out there on YouTube. Uh, and I'm very excited for this. Uh, I've been asked to do exclusive reviews for them. I'll still be doing reviews here on the channel as well as the spoiler room. So so don't go away, okay? I'm definitely going to be doing stuff for the channel, but I'm also going to be doing stuff for their channel and the website, and I'm very excited for this venture. Uh, look for me doing exclusive reviews every Thursday. I'm going to be doing horror reviews. Yeah, big surprise there, right? Exclusive horror reviews on WeLiveFilm.com. Look for it there and check out the webpage. It's got a whole group of very talented YouTube reviewers out there uh, who just, you know, they love film, and I'm glad to be part of that group. And it's because of you guys out there, every single one of you subscribers out there, thank you for your support and your comments, and you're just subscribing to my channel, my little sliver of the Internet. It's because of you that's motivated me to get out there, and you're the reason why I was able to become part of WeLiveFilm.com. Film.com. So thank you very much. Now, on to today's independent movie review, which is Watch This. Yes, it's an independent horror film anthology brought to us by Concept Media. And uh, we get four stories told to us by some indie very talented independent uh, filmmakers out there. Now, the first one is Woodford County, and it's written and directed by Jesse Kennedy, and basically tells the story of a slasher who's out in a small town, who a uh, small community, who is creating havoc by killing uh, various folk. Now, I like the way the killer dispatched his uh, victims, and I like the, the, the killer victim uh, character himself. Really enjoyed that. Uh, uh, you know, and the look and the story and the concept really was really well done. Now, the only thing that kind of got me, though, was the editing and the sound in this. Now, I know sound is a problem for micro-budget films. I understand that. But here, it was a little more distracting uh, than I am used to out of a micro-budget film. So that kind of took me away a little bit. And the editing in some parts seemed just a little bit jumpy. I know it's a bit nitpicky, but it's just things that I noticed while I was watching it. But overall, it didn't take away from the story, which was an excellent excellent story and they have some very entertaining news clips in there. They did those really well uh, where they do these news segments. So overall Woodford County was a decent start to the anthology of uh, film. Now we get to The Way of the Buffalo which this one disturbed me a little. It's done all first person found footage uh, view and it's basically a guy who is stalking this girl and he wants to become a serial killer and she's going to be his first victim and we see through the eye of the lens how he gives in to his serial killer impulses. This one disturbed me because it was creepy. It was just really well done. Now, being found footage first person, it, it helps kind of excuse the shaky cam, uh, but that didn't bother me too much. But it was really creepy, the things this guy did as he snuck into the girl's house and as it escalated to the climax of the film. Uh, and especially when we get to the confrontation between her and the girl, definitely made me feel a little bit uneasy, which it should. A horror film should occasionally make you feel uneasy. So definitely accomplished that there. Love the overall uh, performance by the actor and especially the actress. Kudos to her to selling uh, this film as the attacker uh, gets into her home. Really well done job there with Way of the Buffalo. Now you get Ladies Night, which was just a lot of fun. You got three girls who are out in town and they cross paths with three guys who are just looking to make a guy's night out, but these ladies make it a ladies night out, but it's a night that the guys are going to regret. I really enjoyed this one. The characters were all fun and unique. Not all of them were cliche or cookie cutter. I really liked the characters and the performances by everybody, especially the actresses. They really got into their parts, and you could tell that does come across the screen. And the story was interesting. Didn't play out quite like I uh, expected until about halfway through watching it and going, oh, I know where this is going. But it was still a lot of fun. And, and you can tell the actors and actresses did have a lot of fun. And there is a, definitely a uh, an excruciating part for men <laughs> in this segment that's going to make you shift in your chair a little bit. So, you know, props there overall with Ladies Night. It was from writer and director Ryan Stacy. And then finally, uh, we had Summon that brought to us by director Sean Burkett. Ah, I really liked Summon. It was an unexpected story. You have two girls here who are trying to raise a demon in order to, uh, you know, do their bidding, if you will, and get them out of the uh, small town, crap town, crap situation they're in. And uh, they do uh, successfully get the demon, but it doesn't go the way they had planned. Because the demon has their own plans. Uh, 
I really love the makeup on the demon. They're very creepy, very scary, and rather original, actually. And kudos for the actress playing the demon. She had to cover in head to toe in this just red stuff. Oh, man, you know, that had to be a bear to get that makeup on. And I really give her props for her performance and definitely sold the creepy. The two other actresses, the ones playing the, the girls who were summoning the demon, I liked their performance, and they had good chemistry with each other as well. And overall, really well put together story. I... Watch this overall as a decent independent horror film anthology, okay? You can catch the DVD now over at Concept Media. Go find out for yourself how good it is. I enjoyed it, being a fan of the independent micro-budget films. And if you are a fan of those type of films, and, uh, you know, don't mind a little bit lower production value, I think you'll really enjoy Watch This. So check it out at meetconceptmedia.llc. I'll put the link down below. And until next time, folks, keep that ticket stuff.